Hello friends, today I want to show you how to make a gacha rig in Blender. I can't say that this method is the best solution for 2D animation, because uh, there are many other programs specially for 2D, but I like 3D, I do 3D, and uh, now I decided to try it, and even if I'm not a pro in Blender, I'm just a beginner. This method is simple enough for everyone to follow. I will give you step-by-step -step instructions. So, first of all, you need to download Gacha Club on your PC if you don't have it yet. I type Gacha Club download in Google and here is Lanime link just. Let's download it. I click download now and then no thanks, uh, sure you can donate, but I already have the program and let's open it now. Here I have uh, some characters already done, I will show you how to work with um, pre-made zombie character. Zombie is uh, quite simple, it has uh, no hair, no accessories. Okay, I think zombie will be enough uh, to show what I want to show you. To uh, get the basic images of our character, we will use a save PNG button. I recommend you to give your saved images proper names from the beginning. I'm saving the character, it will be our reference image, and then I go to other, hide and hide unused parts um, and save them one by one with the same save PNG button. So just hide parts that you don't need and save every single part you see, like a PNG. It may take you 2 or 5 minutes or something like this. Not too long, don't worry. I will speed up this video. Oh well, uh, here I figured out that I have saved uh, my images with shadow on. Uh, so make sure that you turned it off, cause uh, we don't need it for moving parts. It's not important for reference image, but we'll save it again and again. Okay, saving everything. I'm saving zombie's head uh, two times with eyes and without eyes. If you want your character to blink in the future, you will need to, to have eyes separately. If you don't care if uh, about his face, you can save just head with eyes and uh, call it done. Maybe I will need this, so I'm saving it two times. If your character has uh, hair, you need to save it also separately. I personally like when he moves, like it simulates uh, the wind blowing. Now it's zombie, he is bald, he has no hair. Uh, that's everything you need to do in Gacha. You can now close it. For next step, I go to Photoshop. You can. Use any program that you usually use for editing. Here I get rid of the face. We don't need it for eyes. That's everything that you need from Photoshop. And next we're gonna download Blender. Blender is a free 3D program. You can also Google it. And then download from the official Blender page. Just follow the instructions that your computer gives me, it's very easy. And then we open Blender. First you will see uh, this cube, a camera and a light. We delete them. The first thing that you'll need to do is uh, going to edit preferences and make sure that you have an add-on for, for importing images. Here you can do a search for image just to find the add-on. Import images as planes. 
Uh, just make sure that it is active. If it isn't, uh, turn it on and save preferences. Now we are ready to import our character. To move inside Blender, you will need your middle mouse button uh, to rotate, shift and uh, middle mouse button to move, and uh, control middle mouse button to scale inside the window. If you are having hard times with Blender controls, just uh, watch uh, some basic Blender tutorial on YouTube. To move objects inside Blender, I'm using some shortcuts. It's R for rotating, S for scaling and G for moving. Now I will import all images at once. Now we see some gray squares, uh, they are images. To make them visible just turn on the material mode. It's a little button in the upper right corner. Also here you have a small arrow, it will show you object transformations. Or oh, instead you can use a shortcut N on your keyboard. Now we need to place all the images in the zero point. I will speed up a little. I'm scaling the image plane with eyes. Now it's too big. Uh, I'm using instrument scale or S on your keyboard. Now everything is in place where it uh, should be. And of course we can delete the reference image. I see the issue, it's uh, a white line on the left, um, but uh, it's a gotcha issue, you can fix it in Photoshop. Just let's pretend that everything is ok with it. Now everything is in the zero point, but some parts are intersecting. Uh, you can see the body is in front and uh, maybe your eyes can be on the back side of the head and you can see them. Now you can move parts um, back and forward to make sure that everything is in place. We need to make back parts to be on the back and front parts in front. We are moving only on the x-axis. So everything is ready to add our armature. Here is our armature. I use move and scale to take it to the right place. First it will be the basic bone. Next we will extrude our spine, our neck and zombie's head. Then clavicles, uh, forearm, arm and now the other side. I'm using G button for moving. Next we are making leg bones. And uh, everything is ready, hooray! We have our skeleton, but uh, at this point it won't move uh, with the ch uh, character, it will move separately. We need to make a skin. I'm making sure that everything works like it should work. Now we are going to name every single bone that we have. Something like we did uh, with gacha parts. We select armature in object mode, then we go to edit mode. And rename bones by selecting every single bone. 
I am selecting the head bone, uh, body spine bone. I'm not uh, naming clavicles because we won't use them directly. Names you are given shouldn't be the same like the names you gave for images. It's just for your understanding what are you connecting with what parts. Now we need to select every single part of our character, our zombie, and then control select the armature. Press the right mouse button to see the contact menu and select armature deform with empty groups. Now we need to make sure that our parts are working properly with the right bones. First, you need to select a single part in object mode, then go to the edit mode and assign the right bone to it. After it, you are going again to the object mode, select the next part, go to edit mode and connect it with another bone. Repeat it for every part of your zombie. You are selecting the right bones in object data properties menu. Forearm, bone for forearm, and etc. Head bone with head, um, spine bone with body. Just don't forget to cancel the edit mode and go to object mode before selecting next part. When everything is ready, you go again to the armature and select the pose mode. Hooray! Now we can move body parts by moving armature. Make sure that everything works properly, that nothing is missed. Every bone is connected. See, I'm rotating parts in one direction that is facing our camera. From this place you can go again to the edit mode to uh, fix some issues with your armature. Make sure that everything rotates like you want it to rotate. Pivot point is where this little sphere is. Our character will adapt. Now I see that some body parts uh, have issues like front, upper arm. And I'm moving my front arm in the place. And the same thing with front leg. Well, I'll call it ready for now. This rig and skin are not very professional, but they are good enough for animating gacha characters. Maybe you will give uh, your rig more effort. Now I will move the camera. 
I need the camera to be in zero position. It will see our zombie in just one direction. Give it 0, 0, 0 in location and 90, 0, 90 for rotation. Uh, then uh, I move the camera. And wow, here we can start animating. Uh, gray squares again, just uh, setting up material mode. By default on the left you can see the image that will be rendered in future and on the right is our working area. Quick test render. Of course here you can also make background, but I prefer to put background in compositing stage. Now I'm turning on auto keying and uh, let's do the simple animation. I'm giving a key for the head bone. Rotating head. You can move keys on the timeline. Rotating zombie's hand. Zombie says hello, subscribers. And uh, just rotating head again. Let's reduce the amount of frames. We don't need 250 frames. And now let's play the animation. In next tutorial I want to make a simple animation cycle, a material setup and uh, some rendering tips. If this video gets 1000 likes, I will make part 2. See you later, have a good day and goodbye!